To troubleshoot the Evolution X3 receive chain, do the following. Check to see that the LNB and feed horn match the service ordered. In case of interference, it is recommended to use a narrow frequency range LNB. Is the coaxial connection correct and tight? If you do not know or are uncertain of any of these parameters, we recommend that you consult the receiver documentation or call SkyVision support. Check to see that the coaxial connector is clean and free from any corrosion. If there are signs of corrosion, it is recommended that the LNB be replaced. Check to see that the feed is secured to the LNB using the screws provided with the LNB. Check to see that the O-ring is installed between the LNB and the feed horn flange to prevent water from entering the input waveguide of the LNB. Check for the presence of water or moisture in the input waveguide of the LNB. If there are signs of corrosion, it is recommended that the LNB be replaced. Ensure that the condition of the outside cover of the coaxial cable is without breaks or cracks. Also make sure that there are no sharp bends, pinch points, or flattened sections of the cable. Check to see that there is between 13 and 18 volts coming from the receiver to power the LNB. If there is a signal from the LNB but no signal at the router, check the signal at the end of the cable before the router with a spectrum analyzer. In the option file, under the modem parameters section, increase the RX ACQ underscore range to be 2 million. Change the LNB to one with a narrow frequency range, which is preferable. To troubleshoot the Evolution X3 transmit chain, do the following. Make sure that the BUC matches the antenna and the satellite router being used. Are the input and output frequency ranges correct? Is the 10 MHz reference signal present? Is the DC power level around 24 volts at the router output and at the cable end on the roof? If you do not know or are uncertain of any of these parameters, we recommend that you call SkyVision support. Ensure that the coaxial connection is tight and that the connector is sealed against water. Connectors that incorporate a separate center pin that is soldered in place are recommended for the best operation of the BUC. Ensure that the directions of the feed waveguide and OMT are oriented correctly. Failure to do so will result in improper operation of the BUC. Ensure that the BUC is secured to the feed using the screws provided with the BUC. Ensure that the O-ring is installed between the BUC and the feed flange to prevent water from entering the input waveguide of the BUC. Ensure that all external BUC assemblies are properly grounded in accordance with grounding instructions supplied by your antenna and receiver manufacturer's manual. Grounding provides protection to BUCs against lightning and ESD damage. For proper system operation, consult your iDirect satellite router manual. Ensure that the condition of the outside cover of the coaxial cable is without breaks or cracks. Also make sure that there are no sharp bends, pinch points, or flattened sections in the cable. Change the BUC. Make sure that the local oscillator frequency is the same. If not, change the option file under Frequency Translation to the new LO frequency. Please be cautioned. There are no user serviceable parts inside the BUC. Failed BUCs must be returned to the factory for testing. In the event of service quality degradation or service interruption, please carry out the following troubleshooting checklist before contacting the SkyVision Support Center so that we may better assist you. Was there a change or failure of equipment? Please be detailed in your account. Was the site or antenna moved? Was there a power outage? 
are the TX, RX, and LAN cables connected to the satellite router. Is the RX LED on? Is your satellite router TX LED on? Is the network LED on? Thank you for choosing SkyVision as your internet connectivity service provider. We are making the utmost effort to provide you with the most professional and prompt service. For further information or assistance, please do not hesitate to contact us. Call us at the 24-7 SkyVision Support Center. Telephone 4420-8387-1770 or email us at support at sky-vision.net or text us via MSN Messenger at support at sky-vision.net Please have the information you have gathered while analyzing and troubleshooting the problem on hand.